During my most recent live stream over on Twitch, link to follow me there is down in the description below, I asked my viewers what their top quality of life changes are for Grounded. Together we came up with a list of 14 things that would make the game more enjoyable for all of us. The first and last are two that are very high on my list, so stick around until the end and let me know which you would like to see most and if there's any we missed. Let's get started. The first item on our list is going to be one that I think just about everybody who's played this game for more than probably 30 minutes to an hour has probably experienced and would be something they like to see, and that's non-jumbling backpacks. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, a lot of times when you're playing the game, and I tried to figure out what was actually causing it, and the only thing I could see causing it was when I was switching weapons between maybe my hand and my hotbar and stuff like that. So essentially what happens is you'll go around exploring. Maybe you have something like this where you have all of your tools set up at the top or something like that, right? So maybe I have my armor on here so we'll maybe have like all of our tools up here at the top and when i go around gathering resources at some point later on this thing will be filled up and what will end up happening is like my hammer will be down here my canteen's over here this has gone up here my shoes are down here this is up here like somehow things are getting jumbled and then you can't find where things are now in most situations this is not going to be a huge deal however if you end up getting into a situation that you were not expecting maybe some maybe a wolf spider jumps you or maybe something else happens and you need to quickly swap over to a different weapon or switch to different armor or just heal yourself or something like that and you don't have the items you need in your hot bar it can be super frustrating when you cannot figure out which one of these 30 slots the item was in. It even happens when you're going into your base and you're trying to like just craft something or sort something or put things where you want to put them and you can't find the things because they're all over the place. So non-jumbling backpack, this has been something that's been asked for since as long as I can remember. Hopefully that gets sorted out and gets added to the game before the, in the 1.0 release. Next up is going to be the increase the base stack size for all non-perishable resources. Now, this is my main save. So in the for the most part, this is not a huge ordeal for me because I already have max stack sizes for most things. That's what I use my molars on. So as you can see here, these things are all stacking up to 25, the twinkling shells. I just started a fresh save over on my Twitch live stream. And in that, I'm ended up having to make so many chests right now just because I can't fit the resources. I did go and get some molars and increase some of the sack sizes. I think I increased everything by one. But basically what ends, up, what ends up happening is because the sack sizes are so small, they end up filling up not only your chest, but also your backpack. When your backpack only has 30 slots and there's over 200 resources in the game and the base stack size for many of them is, I believe, five or 10, then that just makes it where you just can't manage them. And even with the molar upgrades, even later on, it still becomes unmanageable. So increasing the base stack size for all non-perishable resources to 25, I think would be a would be beneficial. And then on top of that, increasing them with the milk molars would just make it overall a, a better solution. Since the developers have pretty much come out and said they don't plan on making giving us extra backpack slots, Next up is going to be another backpack related item and that's sorting your backpack. So right now, if you have, as an example, if you have like a couple things in here, I'm not sure. Can I split these? Let's just do drop, drop one. So if I drop one of these and then I pick it up, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to go back into the same spot. Yeah, it's probably going to go back here. Somehow, whenever I'm wandering around exploring and stuff like that, I end up having where I'll have two of the same thing. Like maybe I have three pollen here and two over here. And there's going to be a little button up here that lets you defrag your backpack. But one thing I would like to have is a sort backpack function. The reason this will be helpful is if they can't fix the non-jumble or even if they do, you could just sort it and have things sort e easily every time. So if you quickly go in there and hit sort, you'll know where things are sorted because it'll sort them either alphabetically or by whatever type there. Maybe it sorts them by weapon or food or stuff like that, healing item. That would be super useful. I think that would be pretty easy to have something like that. Next up on the list is going to be the same function except for storage. Now, as you can see here, this is kind of my junk chest where I just come into here into this base and throw stuff into. This is going to be much more noticeable on my on the new start where I have where I basically just have like four chests and I just deposit things in there. So I have a chest for bug parts, but I literally just dump all my bug parts in there. What would be really useful is having the same function for chests where I could just hit sort up here and it would just sort all the items and then that would be like make it much easier. This would be super useful also when you're hot depositing because a lot of times when you hot deposit, it'll just put them in the, it puts everything in, well, it actually does. It puts everything into the first open slot and they don't always line up because if I go downstairs real quick and show you what my chests look like the way I have them set up. So as an example for like bug parts here, so for bombardier beetles, I have the bombardier parts up top and the boiling glands down the bottom. If I end up filling this stack up and then getting a boiling gland when I hot deposit it, it's not going to deposit it here. It's going to deposit it up there. If I had a sort function, it wouldn't matter. I could just drop them in here and sort them, and that would make it just super easy. Now, in addition to that, and like I said before, with the backpack has this function, but the storage does not, would be having a defrag button. 
So having a defrag button would allow you to combine like things. This shouldn't normally happen. If you automatically deposit using the, the buttons down here, the deposit stack or the deposit, it should deposit them on top of each other. Or if you hot deposit, it should do that. However, if you just drag something over here, and if I drag this over here, and I also had like other of these tab hole jerky up here, it wouldn't automatically defrag it. It would just put it in another slot. So having a defrag button on the chest to match what's in the backpack, I think would also be super useful. And then while we're down here in my main storage area, one thing that I would love to see, and we currently have this, is as you can see on mouse and keyboard, if you hold down Y, if you hold down the letter E, the e, e key, it will hot deposit items into the chest that you're looking at. What I would like to see, I'm not sure what the function is on controller, but it has the same functionality. What I would love to be able to see is a system where typical, like similar to like Terraria, where I walk into my base right here. And if I just press, hold down the hot deposit key, it will literally hot deposit all the items out of my backpack into whatever chest they need to go into. This would save me a ton of time, especially when I go out and I end up coming back with 10, 15, 20 different resources. And I have to sit there and go to each individual chest and deposit them and then go inside of them to make sure the things lined up to where I wanted them. Number seven and eight go together. The first is gonna be depositing all grass and weed stems into the pallet. So as you can see here, I have a stem pallet. When you wanna deposit these, you have to press the deposit button individually to drop all of them in there. What we would like to see is having the ability to just hold down the deposit button and auto deposit all of them, kind of like how you can auto deposit all the things into a chest or a storage bin. And the next one up that's gonna go along with that is gonna be fewer chops to cut down clovers, grass, and weeds. As you can see here, I think this is the one that the viewer mentioned this about. This is a husky weed. We're gonna hit this and see how many times it takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, you can see how many hits it took to break that down. And it did drop quite a few of these weed stems here, which would be great. However, we would like to see it be where it's either based on, just have it be fewer hits to chop things down. Like as an example, I feel like any ax should chop down a clover in one hit, regardless if it's like a level zero peblet ax or a level nine termite ax. Cause I believe this termite ax is actually max, it's level seven and it still takes, the level of the ax does not make any difference in terms of chopping this down nor does apparently the using the grass master the grass master just has something to do with your the stamina you use so it doesn't even matter how much how what level your weapon is or which we level your tool is or if you're using the mutations because it just still takes the same number of hits so what we would like to see is have either be fewer hits in general or be based on the tier so as an example the termite axe would chop down things faster than the much faster than the insect axe which would then top down things much faster than the pebble axe or honestly just reduce it like a clover should take one hit with anything i feel like a grass grass should probably take one hit with pretty much anything maybe two and then if a weed took three hits to chop it down because let's be honest here what is what value is added in having to take 19 hits to chop down that one weed stem it's not really making any impact on the game and honestly it would be much better if we could just do it faster Along the same lines, the next one on our list is going to be being able to break stuff with a hammer or bust stuff with a hammer faster. As an example, if you even if you have the black ox hammer and you have it leveled up, it still takes, I think, four hits to break the mint candy, the spicy cha-cha candy. And I think the salt's about the same. I think there's some salt up here we might run into. I don't remember exactly what the pebbles are. And I didn't, I don't remember what I, when we cut, when I was busting the which I'm going to call it the new stones and stuff like that, the rad and tough stones. I do believe it was a little bit faster because I think Rock Cracker does affect it, affect it. But Rock Cracker definitely 100% from my testing does not affect breaking the candy pieces that are used for upgrades. So being able to bust things in the same manner, being able to chop things down faster would just be more useful. So right here is my zipline tower, and this is going to be the thing we're going to be looking at for the next two items on our list. The first one's going to be sending baskets down the zipline. Right now, you can send grass planks and weed stems down the zipline. Of course, you can send yourself, but you can't send anything else. I would love to see, at the very least, being able to send baskets down there. That would allow us to transport like large amounts of materials back and forth, saving time of literally just running back and forth, oftentimes doing nothing but running back and forth. Because let's be honest, if you go from point A to point B, the first time you go through, you're probably going to run into most of the enemies you're going to see, and you're probably going to fight them the first time you go through. So the, then you're going to go back and forth the same, the same route over and over again. All you're going to be doing is wasting your time and not really doing anything else because you aren't going to run into battle if you already killed everything on the way over there. So sending baskets down would be fantastic. 
I would love to see being able to send chests or pallets down there as well, just to send more things. Because honestly, if you send down a bunch of weed stems or grass, when they hit the end, they end up just getting in a huge pile and causing a mess. So sending down at a, a basket in the minimum, but also like chests or pallets would be super useful and would just make the game a little bit more enjoyable. And then along those lines would be powered zip lines. Now, I believe on the feature board, there's something about powered bait build buildings. Having powered zip lines would be great. As an example here, you can see I have this zip line here that goes, I have one that goes down to the pond. I have one that goes over to the house that I was just over where I was building in. And then I have one that goes over here to the picnic table. And I also have one that goes over there to this little tower. Now that's fine and dandy. I can go one way. However, none of them come back here right now, except for the one that I built over here, which I had to build another zip line tower from the picnic table over to here. What we would like to see is having powered zip lines that allow you to basically build a single zip line that lets you go back and forth so you don't have to build a tower on both sides or building two giant towers with two separate zip lines to get back and forth. Now, obviously, this would have to be something I would say this would be something you maybe unlock later. Maybe you unlock zip lines early and then later on, you can unlock powered zip lines just so it's like more of a mid to late game thing, making getting around much faster. But that would be super useful getting around. It would also allow you to control the speed of them so that you don't have to build them on like a super sharp angle to get over there quickly because this zip line that goes from here to over here is pretty slow considering it has such a it doesn't have a very steep incline. The one that goes down to the ponds much faster because it goes down in a much sharper angle. Number 12 on our list is going to be a compass. This is one that a couple people suggested. And the reason for this is I personally just use the oak tree as a kind of like a marker or waypoint where I, wherever I am in the yard looking. But that's because I'm playing by myself most of the time. When you're playing with other people and you're trying to tell people where to go, of course, you could just put a map marker down. But it would be much easier if you had a compass. And maybe you got maybe you're somewhere and you say, listen, I'm on the northeast part of the map. So then everybody could just look at their compass and say, oh, the northeast part of the map. OK, I need to go over to here to where the pagoda is or whatever up to this upper part of the yard. That would be useful, especially if it was like up on the top corner of the map, or if it was just on your scab, maybe you could just press a button that would look at your scab and it would tell you which direction you're facing, just so you could navigate around the map easier, especially for newer players, as well as to be able to communicate with your friends so that everybody can get to the place that you want to get to without having to put a bunch of map markers down. Now, number 13 on the list was something that I'd not really thought about, although I probably indirectly had this have had this experience where it kind of became frustrating, and that's the reticle. So as you can see, the reticle right now, like if I point it up at the orange, I guess it's, I don't even know. For me, I can see it, but it's still kind of like, it's like a light gray color, off white color. Someone in my chat said that they were colorblind, and they said the reticle was super hard for them to see. So it's honestly a little bit hard for me to see, even though I'm not colorblind. So I can only imagine what it would be like if you are if you are colorblind. It's already hard enough sometimes hitting your shots in this game, especially if you're not a professional like FPS player. So the suggestion was being able to change the reticle color and size just to make it easier to see for everyone. So you could obviously leave it how it is by default, but just be able to change it to a, several different colors, maybe all the colors like on the color spectrum, and then also being able to change the size of it to make it either bigger to make it bigger or to change it to maybe a plus sign or something else whatever you want to change it to just a couple of features that would just make it easier for everyone to be able to see the radical so that everyone has a similar experience and then last but certainly not least this is the second biggest one on the list for me behind the backpack jumbling and that is the scroll wheel being able to be used for your hop bar items so this of course would only affect you if you're on mouse and keyboard but at the bottom you can see my hop bar there and many times when I'm playing this game, I will be hitting the scroll wheel thinking I'm switching between my weapons and I'm not because that's not a feature in this game. Whereas many other games I play, especially survival games, allow you to use the scroll wheel to go up and down. You, scrolling up or down will move your hotbar item so you can quickly toggle between weapons without having to click the one key one through eight keys because honestly the first like one through five are okay but hitting the eight key to maybe like pull out a torch or drink or heal or something like that i pretty much have to take my hand off the keyboard in order to be able to do that if i could quickly scroll down to the eight key and then just press the press the left mouse button to use it or the right mouse button to use it that'd be fantastic so anyway those are the 14 items that we came up with let me know in the comments down below which one you would like to see most or if there's any we missed thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video